it's so late at night. Hey, R- Roxy, are you awake? Uh, I don't think she is, is she? Her- I could have sworn I heard some knocking downstairs, but there's nothing here, so I guess I'll just go back up then, because I don't really have anything else to do. But yeah. What? what? There it is again. Uh, uh, should I open the door? Oh, it's morning already. Uh, I can go up. <laughs> I'm free to go up. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay, Roxy, come on. You're pretty stinky dinosaur today, huh? You really need to take a shower, Roxy. Have a seat. I just gotta um, do a poopsie, but um, you're pretty dirty. Hey, did you hear anything last night? No, mommy, of course I didn't. I think you're hearing things. Ugh, don't say that, Roxy. Of course I'm not hearing things. I could have sworn I heard some knocking. Okay, just wash my hands. Are you sure you didn't hear anything? Well, I don't know if I did or if I didn't, cause I was asleep. And if I'm asleep, how am I supposed to hear anything? Yep, you've got a point. Okay then. So do you want to go out? You seem bored. No, I don't want to go outside though. How come? You love going outside. Nope, I don't want it today. Okay, have your breakfast. (sighs) I just wonder what that knocking was. Mom, I'm thirsty! Coming, coming, Roxy. Here you go. That's your water. Let me see what's in the fridge. Uh, not too much in the fridge, huh? Only some apples and water. And that's all I could find. So, <laughs> Roxy, you know, you need your apples. Because an apple a day keeps the monsters away. <laughs> oh my god, mommy. Please stop. Okay, I will. Come on, let's just go outside. Can we watch TV? Like, I really want to watch TV. But Roxy, you've not been going outside since such a long time. I think you need to sleep, like, you know, go out and play in the sun. Please. (sighs) Roxy, please, 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 please. Okay, Roxy, okay. But I still think we should be going outside not watching TV. Mommy? Yes. TV. Okay, fine. Here you go. You can sit. Yay! I'm going to be outside for some time, so you can watch TV. I'm going to head out. All right, Mommy. Adios. Now, let me see what that knocking was. wonder if the person's still here. All right, let's have a look. And no one down here. Um, oh, there are two people. And um, they're having fun, I guess. Uh, uh, Alright. Let's just check around this area on the street. They couldn't have gone too far in that time, could they? I mean, if you had a car, yeah, you can go very far. Hey, wait a minute. What about behind my house? Could there be anybody behind my house? Mm, or not. Okay, well, there's nothing to discover here. Maybe tomorrow, I hope. Hopefully. Look, I don't know, I'm just gonna head inside and check on Roxy. Uh, Roxy? Where did you go? I could have sworn you were right here. And you never leave the TV on once you're done with it. Um, where are you? Roxy? Roxy? Roxy, are you even in the house? Roxy, calm down. (laughs) Oh my god. Roxy, come here. Where are you, Roxy? Oh. Uh, Not behind the table. Um, I haven't checked upstairs yet, though. Yeah, let's just head upstairs and 
see what this what a neon wolf in Roxy's bed oh oh hi, hi there I'm like um, I'm a neon wolf and uh, yeah uh, hi light have you seen a t-rex anywhere no I haven't and I definitely have not kidnapped any T-Rex. What did you just say? Um, well, you see, I just wanted to be adopted and I was afraid no one would adopt me. And then I just got super duper scared. And then I guess I just found this house and I saw a T-Rex there and I kidnapped them so I could take their place. I thought you wouldn't notice. You know, I would have adopted you anyway, right, Light? Well, do you know where she is? Well, yeah, kind of. My friend kidnapped her for me, actually. Well, both of us. But, um, I'm not sure where she took it. Her. Him. Her. It's a she. But will you help me find her? Of course. You can try looking around the neighborhood. Okay, neighborhood. How fun, Light. What do you think about this house over here? I mean, it's open. I don't know. If I know my friend, he would never ever hide anyone or anything nearby to where he took it from. If that makes any sense. I guess it kind of does. But, time to look around, I guess. Oh my god. Roxy? Roxy's not here. What did I tell you? I don't think she could be anywhere around you. You're probably right, Light. That did rhyme, didn't it? I mean, you didn't have to do that, but I did. <laughs> yeah, you definitely did. Light, you coming? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, sorry. Um, I think I hurt my paw. Where did you hurt it, though? I'm not sure. Alright, let's go. Wait a minute! Oh, uh, what's wrong? I just realized, what if Roxy's at the campsite? Wouldn't that be the perfect place to hide someone out? No one would think of the campsite cabin over there. You're probably right right now. Right? <laughs> huh? Uh, what is this thing? It's a clown car, don't judge. Roxy hates it too. Oh, Roxy. I wish I could find her. Alright. You know, this thing's pretty slow, right? Slow or not slow, it's the only thing that's gonna get us to her fastest. Unless you wanna go through a humongous ball. Yeah, you're right. And there's a carriage in front of us that's possibly trying to get us into it. Ah! Okay, so we can't get around this and I'm not such a good driver. We're going on foot. Okay, okay, okay. It's a long... Oh my god, that's a really huge sleigh. How does that sleigh work on the road exactly? I'm not sure and you probably shouldn't be asking me. Come on, I don't think I've been to school much before, so... Okay, understandable. Very much understandable, actually. But, okay, here we are. That's a nice car. It is. Hey, uh, Monkey, have you seen a T-Rex around here anywhere? Uh, I don't know, and I don't think so. Oh, I don't want magical pop. <laughs> Monkey! Uh, that's so rude. So, should we look inside the cabin? Yeah, I think that's the only thing. Oh, that was quick. Uh, hi there? Oh, hi. Uh, I think you're that girl. Which girl? The one with the red hair who owns the T-Rex? Oh yeah, that's me. Wait a minute, what? How did you know that? Uh, because I kidnapped your T-Rex, obviously. Duh. Well, I did it for my friends so we could get adopted. <sighs> You're not thinking straight. If you had just asked me, of course I would have adopted you. What makes you think I'll adopt you now? Oh, fine, fine, I'm sorry. But could you just adopt us both, please? And, and I promise you I'll tell you where she is. Okay, fine. Uh, hey, um, miss, 
I think I found Roxy. You have? Okay, I'm coming up in a second. So, what's your name again? Sunny. Yeah, that's my name. Alright. So, you really want to be adopted? Yeah, I do. Okay, come on. Let's go find Roxy now. Where is she at? Uh, where is she again, like? In the blue tent. I'm coming in. Don't worry. Roxy, are you okay? Yeah, I'm just a bit injured, that's all. Aw, come on. Uh, I'll pick you up. Well, I cannot pick you up right now. Oh my god. Okay, <laughs> there we go. Oh, you poor little thing. You got kidnapped. Yeah, I did. They were mean. Yeah, they were kind of mean. But they're nice now. Uh, oh, hi there. I'm Sunny. And I'm really sorry for kidnapping you, believe it or not. I know I was the one who did it, but um, I am sorry. And, uh, wait a minute, what did you say? Our girl likes to be, I don't really know if you want to know. No, uh, oh my god. You guys are crazy sometimes. Okay, listen, just still chilling. Uh, hi, and I'm Light. My friend kidnapped you, I didn't, so just don't blame me for anything. Please, I just wanted to join you and have some fun. That's not a lot to ask for. That's a lot to ask for, especially for the fact that we kidnapped you. Yeah, you guys were a bit mean. Okay, look, we just wanted to be with you. And explain the fact that you thought I wouldn't notice the difference between a neon wolf and my T-Rex. Uh, look, I didn't know, okay? Oh my gosh. Well, Mommy, does that mean we're siblings now, though? Yes, Roxy, that does mean we're siblings now. And you guys are going to have so much fun.